Native and non-native teachers have different talents. Which one to use and when to use them depends on how you wish to quote learn English. Welcome to Smart and Easy English. My name is Ben. I'm American and a native speaker from California. If you want to speak English natively and naturally, you're in the right place. You have found your channel, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks. All right, let me start by asking you: Do you want to acquire English, or do you want to learn English? These two methods are very different. And if you don't know the difference between acquiring and learning a language, check out my video on acquiring versus learning English. I'll add the link to this video at the upper right corner of your screen right now. Okay, so basically, acquiring a language means you don't really formally study the language, but instead you absorb it through interactions with, for example, native English speakers. This is the way babies and children learn their mother tongue. They can speak perfectly well and use grammar properly before they've even studied grammar in school. This is acquiring a language. Learning a language is what we typically associate with classroom education, where a teacher teaches you about the language, the grammar, etc., and often compares it to your native language to help you better understand the structure of the target language. In every country, adolescents learning English will receive some formal instruction in school, following a syllabus. There are usually sequences of lessons with oral drills and repetition exercises, and a lot of memorization. For example, vocabulary and grammar rules. And if this is how you plan to quote learn English by employing the learning method versus the acquisition method. Then non-native teachers, with the experience of already having walked down the same path, may have an advantage over native instructors. Your non-native instructor, who also speaks your mother tongue, is better and more efficient at explaining grammar and rules, also taught in your native language. In fact, learning these grammatical structures and rules is much more efficient in your native language than it is in your target language. If there are ambiguities, they're best explained by a non-native teacher. Once again, in your native language. In language acquisition, however, the primary goal is human interaction, in which the quote teacher functions as a facilitator, providing plenty of comprehensible input. And what is comprehensible input, you ask? I'll pin a link to my video explaining comprehensible input right now at the upper right corner of your screen. So basically, comprehensible input is input you mostly, though not completely, understand. You understand about seventy percent. When you acquire a language, you typically choose your own path of learning. You take advantage of English acquisition opportunities that interest you personally or professionally. Instead of a syllabus, language acquisition programs offer intercultural communication through a personal relationship. Imagine talking to your language partner about anything you want. Native or near-native instructors, therefore, have a clear advantage in a communicative approach. So let's break this down. Which type of instructor is good for exactly what? Non-native instructor. Because a non-native instructor ideally speaks your native language, they're able to explain in detail the formalities of the language in your native language for quick comprehension, such as grammar, rules, and structures. Quick comparisons can be made between English and your native language. Having walked down the same path, your non-native instructor may intuitively know your difficulties and empathize. And lastly, non-native instructors are typically better for learning about the language, such as for testing purposes, than learning how to communicate and be a better speaker of the language. Native instructor, better for developing cultural awareness of the language, best for pronunciation and accent training, better if you want to acquire the language, absorb it naturally. 
better if you want to sound more native and natural rather than technical and textbook-like. And native instructors typically produce better communicators and speakers in English or the target language. So which type of instructor would be better for you, native or non-native? Leave your answer in the comments. Thanks for watching. And whether you choose to learn or acquire English, whether you use a native or non-native instructor, remember to enjoy the journey. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the video get seen. And also hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you'll know when we upload future videos. Thanks so much and bye-bye for now.